Hi, my name is Claudia and I work for the Region of Waterloo Library and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a vampire windsock. The materials you'll need for this project are blue or purple construction paper, red, black, and white construction paper, googly eyes, scissors, a hot glue gun, a coffee tin that's empty, a hammer and a screwdriver, a towel or something to soften it, a marker, a pencil, some fishing line, and some streamers. So next we're going to take a coffee tin and place it on top of a towel. Uh, we just did that to keep it steady and make it sound softer. We then hammered it in with a screwdriver until it created a hole in the top of the coffee tin. The next step is to uh, cover your coffee tin in uh, construction paper or whatever kind of paper you have. So we measured our coffee tin by putting it flat onto the piece of paper and making a line where it ended. And then we're just gonna cut out the part that we don't need with our scissors and uh, make sure that our paper is long enough to wrap around our coffee tin. To make sure that your paper is long enough, you can add on a scrap piece of paper at the end to make it wrap all the way around your coffee tin. So we just hot glued a piece of paper onto our longer piece of paper. So to cover your coffee tin, you're just gonna place a bunch of hot glue on your piece of paper and roll the coffee tin so that it's around uh, in the piece of paper. Our next step is to make a top for our uh, coffee tin. So we just trace the bottom of the coffee tin there and cut out the circle that it created to make sure that we had the right size to cover the remaining part of the coffee tin. Um, you also want to make sure that there's a hole in the top of your construction paper there just to make it a little bit easier. So I made a mark um, and then I just took it off and hot glued the construction paper to glue on to the top of the coffee tin again. And then I also made sure to fold over some of the parts that um, might have gotten stuck up when I was hot gluing just to make sure it looks nice and even. So now we're going to draw a bow tie for our vampire to wear. So to do that, I just freehanded to the best of my abilities. So I did a circle in the middle and two triangles on either side. I did my best to make them even and then two lines on either side to make it look kind of like a bow tie. And then I just cut it out and glued it on to the bottom of the coffee tin. Our next step is to use our black construction paper to create a cape for our vampire. So you want it to wrap around kind of where the bow tie starts so that it looks just like a, a normal cape would on your neck. So you're just gonna put hot glue on the top of the black construction paper and then wrap it around the bottom of the coffee tin so that it covers part of the bow tie on the bottom. So now we're going to add some googly eyes onto our vampire. So I tried to line them up with my bow ties so that um, each eye was kind of on top of a bow tie uh, triangle and I just hot glued the eyes on.
Then you can use a black marker to draw on a smiley face for your vampire. If you wanted it to look a bit more scary, you could do a more menacing look. Now you're just going to draw two uh, triangles on a piece of white paper. Um, these are gonna be the fangs for the vampires. So just do your best to make sure that they're about the same size and they're going to be glued on at the corners of the mouth. Now you're going to take your fishing line. Um, you can cut it however long you'd like it to be, um, however much you want to be hanging off of whatever you're planning to hang it up on. Um, then you're gonna take your paper clip. You're just gonna put it through the middle of the paper clip and then you're gonna tie the string around so that it doesn't fall off of the paper clip. Um, I also wove mine in between the two kind of parts of the paper clip there. Um, but you're also welcome to just tie it. And then you're gonna be taking the ends of the fishing line and poking them through the hole that you've made in your can and in your paper at the top. So you could do it, I found it easiest to do it one at a time, to put one end through and then the other, but if you can get both ends through, that works well as well. So our next step is to glue on our streamers. So we just measured um, however long the cape was and just kind of however long we felt like. Your streamers can all be different lengths or if you'd like, they can all be the same. Um, they're all just gonna get blown around in the wind. And then you're just gonna put some hot glue on kind of the outer rim of your coffee tin and then attach your streamer that way. Once all your streamers are attached, we did eight streamers total. You can hang your windsock anywhere that you would like. 